the most important reason that I can think to con uh, for continuing mining is uh, to include uh, more people uh, to the project, to Pi Network, that more people can join it. The more pioneers there are, uh, the more that Pi will be used as an everyday currency and the exchanges uh, will be more and more. More people could be able to buy services and products and to sell services and products. The reason for stopping mining after we reach network size is simple, to keep the value of the coins. If there are too many coins in the system, like hundreds of trillions or something like that, the whole coins, I mean unique coins, will not worth anything. And for even a small transaction, a high, high number of coins would be necessary. This is quite unreasonable and unpredictable. So we must avoid this, that the currency will lose all its value. The reason for continuing mining is simple. We need to provide constant support to the coins uh, to replace all those bees that are excluded somehow from the economy. These can be explained like captain wallets, held in safes without even moving or by users simply abandoning these coins. As B would be a currency or something similar to that, uh, it would need a constant supply that can keep the transactions in motions to be recorded. And this is the fuel of the economy. So if there is no supply or not enough supply, that would block the transactions and block the development. Hey everyone, so basically according to me, the reasons for continuing mining is that the value of the Pi currency is going to be broader and there's going to be more people using it, thereby significantly increasing the usefulness of the network. Uh, also, some people will have good ideas as to how can the security be improved and if more people know about Pi network, uh, there's probably going to be more um, inflow of ideas and uh, eventually making the currency, the cryptocurrency, one of the largest on the market. Hi there. We should stop mining as early as possible. Here is why. We will present this in two parts. First, the benefits of stopping mining at 10 million users. And second, the consequences of continuing mining after 10 million users. Here is what our benefits. First, I don't know for all pioneers, but me and my friends, we all have a target amount of pi that we want to reach before phase two. And if we stop mining before we reach that target, there are two scenarios. First, we will buy more pi to reach this target, or two, we will value pi more because we don't have the amount of pi that we consider as enough and two whatever is the amount of pi that the pioneer has when we stop mining it means that he will obviously value it more than before and three when we stop mining it means that there is no longer a distribution of pi which creates a rarity for pi and here is the second part the consequences of continuing mining after 10 million users some pioneers start leaving the project because they think it takes a lot of time to implement and if we continue mining we will obviously lose some of the earliest pioneers of pi which is not the goal of core team and two when we continue mining, we will probably reach and maybe have more than the amount of pi that we consider as enough, which means that we will obviously value pi less. And three, there will be a lot of pi in circulation, which is not rare. And four, in all Facebook groups, a lot of pioneers at least new ones ask always when can i sell my pie which is not our goal if everyone want to sell their pie hold by them probably no one 
and that is it if we continue mining that means that we will have more and more inexperimented pioneers which have a goal which their goal is just to sell pie which is not our goal so we should obviously stop mining at 10 million users Hi, I'm Tina from Malaysia. So I think when we reach 10 million users, it should be halved and then we should promote it. It is not that everyone who does not believe in Pi, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there who uh, do not know about Pi. So we should definitely take another year to let people know more about Pi. So we can choose either to stop mining on a 2021 March 14 or 2022 uh, March 14 and go to the mainnet. Currently, we are using only one phase for uh, one year, so it is definitely normal to complete the three phases within three years. So the number of suspended users is not necessarily 100 million users, just provide a designated date and then everyone will have a real goal. Paronias, my name is Timothy from Nigeria and my PAR username is TimZ. I want to speak on the pros and cons of using our mobile devices to mine Pi. During the test notes or the test nets for the Pi node, so it's noticed that various users couldn't access the Pi on their systems because the system was not compatible with the Pi node. The Pi node requires systems to have a minimal of Windows 10 Pro operating system running on them. In fact, the Docker de daemon refused to work on some certain systems, mine inclusive, and some other friends of mine had the same issues with the Docker daemon. If the mobile mining is to be continued, more users will be able to access the Pi without interference or glitches or system problems. Because a user wouldn't be able to carry his laptop or system wherever he's going if he wants to mine Pi. But if with his device, his mobile device, he could easily mine Pi wherever he is, whatever he's doing, at every given location, he could be able to access Pi. Another reason why Pi on mobile mining shouldn't be discontinued is that it attracts more users. When they learn that um, it doesn't consume much battery, doesn't consume much data, doesn't consume much time, just with a click, you could mine for 24 hours then come back the following day to do the same thing. It attracts more people to come to my mind. Like um, Bitcoin, when it started recently, when it started newly as of 2007, I could remember that I found it difficult to um, mine Bitcoin because I couldn't uh, have a system then that was able to work with Bitcoin. So I lost out of that. But since this is a decentralized system whereby various pioneers are able to come together in the aim of growing a family of Pi, we could actually use the mobile mining to achieve that. If notice in less than two years, we are able to have 7 million users and still rising. But if you should go by the um, system, not everyone is able to access the system. Not everyone is able to buy a system to use to mine Pi. So I think um, mobile mining should be continued. And if there's any um, limit to mobile mining it should be that new users shouldn't be able to mine at the same rate as previous users and if they want to mine at that same rate they need to buy the pie from existing users and they need to help more people to come in and those who are already existing um, pioneers will be able to gain more from the pie thank you hello p if you stop the mobile mining you're killing your platform i believe as this was the feature that got 7 million users in under two years, it's um, regardless of, I believe, in, if you stop it, you, you will kill your platform. I think you just need to lower uh, the mining amount so much that uh, it's also worth uh, mining the normal computer way of mining. But don't don't kill the app by or your product by removing one of the features that got you into the market. Hello, as you already know, uh, cryptocurrency based on supply and demand. Uh, if you see the top twenty uh, crypto right now, they have a 
total supply of less than uh, 20 of 1 billion. Uh, only less uh, like uh, Tether, uh, XRP and Cardano have many billion supply. For this reason, I believe that Pi should have a small uh, uh, supply after uh, 10 million users. For me, after 10 million users, you know, from my perspective, uh, we have to uh, have for all uh, pioneers uh, the mining rate close to 0.1% per, uh, P per hour. Uh, and after the 100 million, we have to stop mining for everyone. So as to uh, have less supply and uh, already have built a strong demand for pay network. This is my opinion based on the uh, data and facts I have seen uh, for the last three years on the crypto market. I believe that if we want to build strong reputation and strong price for, for pay, we have to do this to do this in this way and don't have a, a extremely big and massive supply and uh, build less uh, demand for P. Thank you very much. Dear Project Party, hello, I am from China. My nickname is Sunny521. I am a Pi senior old miner. We are very proud of Pi's current results. The white paper also mentioned that everyone is equal, which is unique to the faction. It should be no problem for Pi members to reach 10 million in two months. What is worrying is that the loss of old members is very serious. If the Pi more butter cannot be carried out in a short time, Pi will lose its appeal. The next two months are very critical. According to the white paper, production will be discontinued or reduced after 10 million members. If production is discontinued, battery must follow up, otherwise there will be a vacuum period. Merchants are very optimistic about the future trend of Pi Corn. Of course, I am also very optimistic, so I invest in ecology. The goal is to earn Pi Corn through buttering while creating an ecosystem. I suggest stopping production. Buttering begins, real benefits are implemented, and the true popularity of Pi is increased. There are a large number of people in China and potential customers who love Pi will be tapped instantly which will support the value increase of Pi. If the production is stopped until 100 million miners, the continuous production of coins will cause harm to the interests of the mall, and Pi will not be able to maintain its value and lose its scarcity. Then I believe that many businesses will no longer create ecology and butter. Isn't it the purpose of buttering to earn more coins? Who will make selfless dedication for project? Every day I use my mobile phone to tap Lightning Pay. It may take many years to reach 100 million miners. It's so easy to get a mobile phone for free while investing in battery. Merchants and entrepreneurs are very shrewd that the sale is not worth it. Only they know it. Miners are not the only value given to Pi. Its value depends on how many ecological businesses and investors recognize Pi Network, which is the most important. Why is the Bitcoin so high? It's not because the total amount is small, but, but because many people recognize it. Even if there is only one total and no one recognizes it, it is worthless. Hope my proposal will be beneficial to Pi. Finally, I want to say that Pi is a great project. One Pi, one word. I love Pi Network. Thanks. Hey guys, I believe mining should stop after 100 million or 1 billion. Um, I, there's an issue of uh, deflation and hyperinflation and everything. Uh, however, if, if you caught the the production of Pi too early at 10 million, I believe that there won't be as much interest from outsiders joining the network uh, because right now the whole purpose of the app is, is to acquire Pi coins. So if, if, if people can't get Pi, why would they join? Why would they even download the app? Uh, so I, I think that's uh, an important aspect to it. And uh, secondly, if we have a currency that cannot be earned only maybe via nodes, uh, which will be minimal, I guess, then it would, it would make the coin rather deflationary and, and therefore it would encourage holding rather than uh, spending. So if we have that, then 
people would rather hold that currency instead of using uh, dApps and uh, exchanging it for products and services. I feel that if uh, if I feel that core team should explore the idea of universal basic income. Uh, I don't know if, if it would work or not. I don't have too much experience in this. I just think that if everybody's in this huge mobile mining ecosystem has a place and, and is mining, um, and then that's the way to get the application to the most people because they have full access to the, to the to full functionalities uh, of the blockchain, meaning they can mine, uh, they, they can they can send and they can receive coins and they can participate as a node. So uh, I think if, if everybody gets this opportunity, then uh, if everybody could get this opportunity, uh, then that would mean that we could reach out to more and more people instead of just um, instead of just buy our coin because now you can't get any more and there's like 10 million of us. Because yes, there's there's a great uh, incentive of of you know building DApps and and using our platform. However, I, I feel the community enjoys uh, the, the the mining process and, and and you know it gives them something to to look forward to each day. And, and I feel that with with decentralization and and, and the whole branching out of uh, of the cryptocurrency scene in, in general. Um, I think it, it should give it should give uh, an, an income source from using a mobile, so just having the Pi miner on, rather than just you have to trade or you have to have some products and services. Obviously, I don't know the exact numbers of the coins, but I, I would encourage Pi Core team to explore this. Uh... Hi guys, whether you stop the mining at ten or one hundred million, that would be something to discuss about. To me, mobile mining should definitely stop, as it is stated in the white paper. In order to have a max supply, you need to stop mobile mining. If you stop mobile mining at 10 million population or 10 million pioneers, uh, I think it is very important to let new users join Pi Network even in this phase two, if we stop the mining before phase three, because we will reach 10 million engaged pioneers well before phase three. Uh, and when we talk about that 100 million users number, uh, actually, that's the number that I first read inside the white paper uh, last year. I think 100 million would be an optimal number to stop the mobile mining because it would be the best for the Pi's economy. But 1 billion users, that's out of question to me. I think that is not good. We want to keep Pi scarce. And again, we want to bring it to the hands of as many people as we can. For me, 100 million, as first stated in the white paper, is the best number. But it should definitely stop. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. In my opinion, for the first question, which is we have to stop mining after 10 million pioneers. It is just because of uh, maybe there is a lot of people that they trying to get mining all day to reach the, the target, the dream that they want. And we should stop mining just for temporary time. Um, because we let those people that they didn't trust um pi network or trust to mining and we will give them the second chance to do it and of course if we are try to stop mining for temporary like 10 days maybe you will get a lot of emails comments that they would like to get continued so in my opinion we should we should stop mining just for temporary time and then we let them and we give them the second chance and we will see how they respond, how they um, get to the um, Pi Network again. So I think this is uh, my opinion and I think that's going to be really useful. Thank you so very much. Bye. We shouldn't stop mining at the current time. I would suggest a rapid delayed solution. First of all, we should quote the current mining rate from 0.4 to 0.1. 
the 10 million pioneers to protect the pie scarcity. Scarcity makes people confident in pie's value. And we made half the 0.1 to 0.05 at the 20 million pioneers. Hello, I believe that Pi should end its end uh, mining at 100 million users. If we were to stop at 10 million, the base, the Pi network would not be large enough and attracting more pioneers after 10 million would be very difficult. I believe that a billion would be too many, uh, that Pi would, Pi scarcity would not be preserved and the value per Pi greatly diminished. At 100 million, which I believe is the optimal time to end, end uh, mining, you would balance scarcity with having a large pie network that could support sellers and vendors and other sorts of people who would offer goods and services on pie networks. Thank you. and. Thank you for your consideration. So the reasons for stopping mining. <laughs> yes, as I said before, um, the special thing of money, the special um, like characteristic of money is it's not so distributed that everybody in the world has the same amount. So, as I said, you have to find the balance between inflation and deflation. So, if you have too much of pi, you can get, you get a kind of inflation. So, people will buy a jar of honey, um, not for one pi, but maybe for 100 pi. So, one pi would be worth maybe zero zero point or zero zero three cents versus like bitcoin uh, you can buy for 0 0.00001 bitcoin a lot of things so one bitcoin is over now thousand euros so in my opinion 10 million is the right amount of people who got access for free to pi and it's a solid stable basis and um, from there, it will grow exponentially. So if already 10 million people, they have it, and um, we will, then the people have to buy and sell it, it will grow very quickly, not like from zero to um, 1 million. So this is the main reason to keep the worth of pi, to keep the value of pi, to help um, Pi um, prevent from inflation and therefore also stay fair to the people who already have Pi. They already um, collected Pi and if this Pi is now um, getting less and less value, it would be kind of frustrating for the people who already have Pi. Uh, exactly to the reasons for continuing mining is the opportunity for more people to uh, to get uh, this new cryptocurrency uh, especially for the pioneers who recently joined uh, and uh, th this currency to be more uh, to be more presented and uh, more people to to have it to have enough of the currency for the exchanging Hello, my name is Sơn, I'm from Vietnam, and today I want to tell you the reason why I personally think that PyCoin should stop when it reaches the number of 10 million users. Um, as I personally think that PyCoin is a junk cryptocurrency, but it's quite valuable. And at the moment, many people consider PyCoin is the most popular coin in the world. And I see the potential of PyCoin, and that's why I I think PyCoin should stop when the number of users is 10 million people around the world. The popularity of PyCoin is, you know, indisputable at the moment, and that's why I think if we stop mining when it reaches the number of 10 million users, 
the price of pi coin in the future will be valuable because the price of a cryptocurrency depends on the supply of it. It means that we don't need to have many people who use cryptocurrency, but we need to prove that the cryptocurrency that we are developing is potential and useful for people. As I, I can see, PyCoin is a very useful coin because it helps people to purchase something from other countries to help them use PyCoin as a digital right, uh, digital money. It means that you can use this for uh, exchange items or for uh, conducting transactions around the world. And that's why I am, um, in my opinion, PyCoin should, you know, stop mining. It has all has pros and cons, I think, but I will mention only, okay, the benefit of continue is that will allow more people to build up their cryptocurrency wallet, yeah, and let it grow and, and to have the opportunity to, to mine as well, to be mining. On the other hand, if, if it stops, it will create a limited currency among the market. And that will provide a better value for the cryptocurrency, P, Pi in this case. Uh, so stopping will create a limited resource that will create a better value in the future. And continuing mining will allow people as well to create. As myself, I'm new on this, I'm reading, and I'm happy to be part of Pi mining. You have to make sure that the mining stops so that it does not lose value and people continue to have faith. People are tired of mining nowadays. Um, you can't keep giving out. If you do this, then the value will go very, very, very down. Um, four aspects. Two many of the production is suspended and the number of circulating pi is far from enough to support the extremely large transaction circulation of ecological community. I think the original tension, intention of pi is to serve more people, plus the life cycle release mechanism in the white paper. In the future, people will not only use pi for transactions, but also have the pro properties of storage and value added, such as financial management and deposit in a bank, which will be more secure and value. If so, the number of pi will be more secure for the long-term consideration. It is suggested to temporarily set the target of stopping production at 100 mini users. In the process, the comprehensive value of the total number of user euros and uh, the number of pi can be applied uh, through ecology and uh, circulation. Thirdly, the new pioneers have so much issue the alum that uh, can not to be deprived of their right to preach. Weakness in all the pioneers is a normal phenomenon. And what is needed is to make 20% who actually contribute on the pie network and follow the project site rather than beautiful number of registered users data contribute and finally enjoy result. Fourth, the, global, the goal of the project site is very large and needs time to be taken matters step by step. It takes not enough time for the technology and the ecology to be completely prepared. Finally, once the money is stopped, we must go to the main network to ensure the positive circulation of pi and the currency price should fluctuate and rise in order to meet the pioneer's technological expectations. If we reduce to mine, the most important matters are to comfort pioneers, 
such as have a strategic partnership partnership with a big company, an official timetable for the release of the basic currency of Pi, and so on, to give pioneers the world to and something to do. Well, uh, we should continue mining not to very long, but uh, up to a certain limit. Uh, and uh, make more people aware that what is going on and uh, make a bit more marketing and uh, you know spread this news and after that once it reaches its limit like uh, 15 million or 20 million uh, uh, up to that on, then we should consider stopping it and uh, and uh, increasing pie value in the market uh, slower growth. Slower growth can be advantage as well because it it can be more controlled, uh, more purified um, when you have slower growth. No need to burn pies. This is the second one advantage. One more is no need for staking or proxy staking. This is advantage as well. And we would know the total amount of uh, pies produced. This is very important advantage as well. Right, one may ask, what are the reasons for continuing mining? I would say uh, raising more awareness. Individuals having the opportunity to accumulate more pie points, if I should call it, um, and especially those pioneers who recently started. Gaining momentum on the pre cryptocurrency by reason of public interest. Promoting hope for modern cash transactions, as in digital cash, readily on one's mobile phone or laptop or iPad or whatever Android device they may use at that time. Promoting the vision started by our three uh, PhD excellent team at Stanford, well done team, um, uh, you know them, and uh, the power in disabling current systems by modernization, um, of which Pi is the most innovative currency idea I know of. Uh, the more the people, the likely uh, that it will gain uh, popularity and momentum. And also, last but not least, a chance to help those who are impoverished or those who have no money to buy cryptocurrency. Um, and promoting um, affordability, I would say, which in retrospect, will promote health of the nation and also uh, promote financial independence, most of all joy for all those who take this opportunity. Okay, thank you. Why we want to continue mobile mining? In my opinion, uh, when we continue mobile mining, it will help to reach many people, but we have to continue mobile mining uh, at least 100 million people that helps to reach many of them. Many of the countries, uh, many of the people don't know about the Pi network, uh, Pi coins. If we continue mobile mining, it will help to reach many of them. Uh, we can add many more people to Pi network because Pi network means it's a networking. It's communicating each other or it's a, uh, connecting pupils. I think we have to add many more people. We have to reach many more people. So it will become social. Uh, that will be a, a part of their life. I think it will help to be a part of their life as a Pi coin for their daily needs. Thank you. As I said, uh, continuing mining um, uh, is going to add more people to the Pi community. And um, but I, I want to see like uh, 10 million. As 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 very strong a group of people of these are really uh, serious one million it has to be solid one million so if one million uh, people and probably a few uh, a million or two not active so you need to go to twelve million so you make sure you have ten million active uh, members that's gonna make the the park community very strong and and supportive uh, to to launch uh, uh, to to the world. And um, uh, I, also, like uh, the continuing should be based on services uh, or, or support provided to the Pi community. Uh, that way, you encourage people to come in 
but they have to provide some kind of services or support and to make it uh, to give it some value and that way uh, everybody get the reward after this uh, long waiting and support for the pike community why is the sink mining have to hand the global answer is about organizing the rarity but mining or not the total supply will stay the same it's not like bitcoins creating new tokens per blocks I will have a determined supply and their creation and blockchain. And yes, if you don't give Pi to everyone, they will have to buy tokens. And this is good for Pi valuation. But this is not what it comes first. Yes, I don't believe that we should stop mobile mining. What I suggest we do after it hits 100, 100 million, we should make it more to the point where it's like, okay, for instance, it's 100 million, now every coin that you mine, you have to invite even more people to mine or have a bigger network of miners to get more coin. Let them work, the people that did the work in the beginning benefit from the people who are now coming on board after we, are, we have hit the market, make it a plateau. You know what I'm saying? Like every plateau you get to different levels of the coin, you know? So the people like the pioneers who are really putting in the work right now like for instance, myself, I share it with like over a hundred people already. And I feel for me, we shouldn't just have it where you only get five people or three to five people in your first share, you know, because I'm like, I got friends in different countries and they all see my status and they all copy the link and attach it. So, and use it. Cause I call them, I call people in South America, I'm like, yo, download this. And they're using it. But I only I only got to choose five people, so I'm like, come on, you know. So every level we should at least be able to add more people to that network of people that we, or at least be credited for that network of people that we we promote Pi to, because it only makes us all stronger. The pros and cons of Harvey, Pi is currently the first mobile money app, and it is the only app that can be found in Google Play Store or Apple Store. This is very rare. At present. Pi users in the cryptocurrency industry account for less than 10% of the entire population in this world, and Pi can attract the attention of global mobile phone users. By far, mobile phone users account for half of the entire planet's population, user which is around 50%. The downside is that it must be very comforting for those Pi users who join early. After all, one year of persistence is really difficult and I believe that the speed after the halving will definitely slow down. So that 100 million real users is a challenging goal. The pros and cons of stock mining. Only stock mining can be used on mainnet. DAPP and nodes will have a way to get these tested for real. And the total supply will be constant. The blockchain will be only be complete and listed on the exchange. But the downside is that out of the current 10 million users, how many of them own two mobile phones per pack? Although there is KYC, there might be around 7 million users who can really circulate and there are not enough people who recognize Pine. So Pine Network still have so much space to grow. And how many Pine users should stop mining when should uh, stop mining? Uh, when should mining be discount? Discontinued? I think that when we reach 10 million users, it should be half, and then we should promote it. It is not that everyone does not believe in Pi, but there are many people who do not know Pi. We should take another year to let more people know Pi Network. We can choose to stop mining on like 2021 March 14 or 2022 March 14 and go to the mainnet. Currently, we are using one year for one space, so it's normal to complete the three phases within three years. The number of suspended user is not necessary, 100 million user. Just provide a designated date, then everyone will have a real goal. The value of Bitcoin comes from scarcity and the value of Ethereum comes from ecology such as like define. Then, if Pi is to become the first in market cap and surpass these two cryptocurrencies, 
it has to win the traffic of global mobile phone users so i support it is half what are your perspective on this stop mining or harvey thanks Hello, Pico team. Today I get email. I am excited with the convention. I will answer the question. When should mini stop? Uh, at what and go it will near population count? Uh, I think P should be stopped at 100 million and reduce mini speed because the number of P use is still increasing, uh, but the number of P in the market is small. P should be scarce for high volume. Thank you. Yeah, again, I have told in the before video, the beginning of the video, uh, if we stop, we should stop mining after 1 billion because then at that time, at that point, the network is really big. And uh, at that time, we should be checking how can we uh, help the people more processing and the rate, many mining rate should be high. So at that time, when we use 1 billion and still mine at a low rate, people would be tend to leave the network. And that that is a problem at that point. So what should we do is you start node uh, in the pieces. So according to the GPU and the processor, how that's how the power consumption is uh, using at the AFK time, and that's how the cryptocurrency or uh, Bitcoin any any coins are created. So that's how we are. I think uh, we will be also running node. So um, what should we do is we should start node. Uh, in the PCs, and uh, we should stop at one billion in the mobile phones. Advantages are may we at we can mine at a higher rate, and at that time we have built a huge network around like one billion. So we should uh, start using a higher rate. That 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 point people would be tend to stay to see the rate and the increase. So so we should use PCs and higher end uh, devices. So and the disadvantage come uh, comes around there where people can't afford. Uh, PC, P computer, personal computers are not like laptops and desktops are not daily used uh, devices. Uh, like around when you see the mobile phone, mobile phones are like pretty much everyone has it. So it is advantageous uh, for the people who use mobile phones, uh, but it's a disadvantage uh, right now after one billion people. Uh, when you see mining rate should be high after after one billion because we have a huge network. We should keep the people at that point. So the reasons for continuing mining, I do believe that as for now are more to be market reasons. Uh, by our engaged pioneer count of 8 million by now, I do believe that market-wise we're performing a lot better, a lot nicer than it was some months ago. Uh, personally, I'm trying to expand our product and promote it in my home country of Bulgaria. So when should we stop our mining? As I said before, I do believe that that should be with the end of the pandemic, either quarter one, quarter two or quarter three of next year. I do not know when it will be the time when they will release their vaccine and whatever they're completing. I do believe that that is the time when we should end our mobile mining and turn on mining only available as for the Pi notes and to be next year as in my opinion my reasons that for me for asking us to stop mining when we have reached a certain level of network size will be that if we don't stop mining at a certain point when our pioneer members size has increased and the awareness globally have gotten to that such high level if we don't stop mining we may get into a point when we will have a lot of circulating uh, Pi digital currency that will be in circulation that may definitely be above the level of the demand. And at that point, you'll find out that that will cause devaluation. It will lead to devaluation of the, of the coin. So we have to stop mining at certain point so that we will be able to have a measurable and limited amount of Pi currency that will be in circulation. By then, you'll find out that we will be the demand of every living being, just like today, people asking and valuing dollar pounds. That is what will eventually definitely happen to buy digital currency. If we control the level of the mining, the number of the currency in circulation, 
and of course the level of the supply. Thank you. Continuing to mine Pi for some more time would uh, give new members the opportunity to mine some more Pi for themselves and also uh, try to uh, involve uh, new people as the pioneers and uh, make them the members of this uh, revolution, a uh, digital currency where uh, everyone is, uh, you know, uh, embraced and nobody is left out uh, as far as they are interested. So uh, I think uh, we should uh, allow for mining of pi for some more time. 